Hi guys, welcome back to Metabox Tutorial. Today, I'm going to have a short tutorial on creating buttons with dynamic links using some page builders and even none of them. For instance, I have a website about theme reviews here. Each post about a theme has buttons to their own demo and download pages. Links are pulled out and put into the button automatically. It's a kind of dynamic. For that, we need somewhere to save data of the links for each post. It's custom fields. That's where the Metabox plugin comes in handy. So, here I have it, the free version, which you can download from wordpress.org. In the event you haven't had any premium extensions or packages of Metabox yet, you can create fields by using the online generator. After creating fields here, you can generate code and copy it to your site, then get the expected fields. On the other hand, if you have Metabox AIO or MB Core, I'm sure that Metabox Builder is always in the activated list. It is indispensable for someone who loves UI for creating fields. If you haven't built your website using any page builder, you may need help from MB Views to have these buttons easier. Otherwise, if you are using Beaver Builder or Elementor, remember to enable the integration extension. They are dim here because I'm using Oxygen on this site. But on another one, after activating the Beaver Builder plugin, this integration extension is displayed for choosing. The same with Elementor here. For Oxygen and Bricks, they have native integration with Metabox. So, you need nothing more to do. In this tutorial, I'm going to execute with all of these three page builders. Let's go. I've created a field group for URLs in advance. I have Metabox Builder, so the menu and UI of Metabox for creating fields are here. But, they will not be here, in case you are using the online generator. Both of the fields types are URL. Here are their settings in visual. There is no special configuration for these fields, so just give it a glance. The ID and label of fields are the most important. We will use them in the next parts. These fields are set for blog posts. I also have some posts for demo and saved some URLs to the fields as you see. Each post has its own URLs for easier checking of the final results. Firstly, this part is for someone who does not use any page builder. I use MB views to create a shortcode for buttons, then embed it anywhere I want. It's so easy. Go to views, create a new view. Add this code to create two buttons. This is the default class of my theme for creating buttons. And here is the ID of the fields. This line of code is creating a button with content from the field that has the corresponding ID. Here is the label that I set to the button. The same with the download button, the class, the ID of the URL field and the label. Then, set the view type as shortcode. The shortcode is auto-generated here. Copy it, you can embed it anywhere you want to put the buttons to. For instance, I have a sidebar for blog posts. Insert it here. Then, go to a post. These are my buttons. This is the default style of theme, but you can prettify this area by CSS. C the link at the left bottom corner of the screen. It is the download link for this theme. Go to another post. The button shows another link. This is the demo link. This is the download link. The next one. Different links as well. So, they show the right URLs as I want. And of course, clickable links. I've already pre-made a template using Oxygen. It is applied for posts, but only one of my categories. I will add two buttons here, right under the feature image of the post. First, set a container. I use the div tag to divide this section into four columns. These two are for the buttons, and the others will be blank. Now. Add a button. Normally, if you want a static URL for the button, you can insert one here. But in this case, I want a dynamic link and get the URLs from the custom fields of Metabox. So, click on this, this, and, in the Meta Key field, scroll the list until you see the ID of the field. Change the label and style. Just simple. Let's do it again to have another one. Now, go to a post. 
Here are the buttons and links. Let's check the other posts. They have buttons with different links as well. On another website, I also have a pre-made template by Beaver Builder with the same location. The buttons will be here. Let's do it. Pay attention to the link section. This also is for inserting a static link for the button. To get the URLs from Metabox fields, click this plus icon. You will see Metabox field in the list. Click connect. Then, choose the name of the field you want. The last thing, style your button. That's all. To have another button, duplicate this one to save time. and reconnect it to another field as well as restyle it so here they are in the posts with links They even display well in the mobile version. The last page builder in this tutorial is Bricks. Pre-made template again. I'll also put the button here. Add a container with four columns. These two middle columns are for the buttons. Choose one and create a button inside. Different from other page builders, Bricks allows you to choose the type of link on a drop-down list. I will choose dynamic data. Then, you will see Metabox is suggested here with the name of custom fields following. Choose one as we want. Bricks will render a corresponding link to this preview post that you can check if the data is correct. After that, all the work is styling. Then, I've got an ace button, as you see. Let's duplicate it. Change the data's source, and a new rendered link is shown. Restyle the button. Then, done. Go to posts now. Here they are, the buttons and links. What do you think? If you find it helpful, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorials. Bye.